Hello! Thanks for coming to the last episode in our OBS tutorial series here on the NewTubers channel, where we teach you to get your NewTube channel off of the ground and running. My name's Tim and... Hey! Cut that out! Wipe away your tears! What are you doing? I know we've grown close over these last four episodes, but that doesn't mean you need to cry. Well, just because it's the end of the series doesn't mean it's the end of us. Of course I mean it. And we've still got one more tutorial to get through, okay? Okay. In today's episode, I'm going to teach you how to set up scenes in OBS. And why is this important? Well, let's say you're playing Overwatch or Call of Duty, and in between rounds you want to engage your audience members more. You can just switch the scene so your face cam is larger, you can pull up some of the chat, and you can talk to your audience really quickly, really simply. Setting this up is actually very easy. We already set up our gaming scene in the previous episodes. This has our game covering the majority of the screen with our face cam in the corner and our notifications set up in the upper middle. So to set up a new scene, we go to the scene tab and press the plus button. This opens a new blank screen. Now we just set it up like we did before, push the plus button and add your face cam using the video capture device. Put this off to the side and make it as big as you can, as big as you want. Then grab your game footage and put it in the smaller bottom of the corner. To fill in this empty space behind here, we can grab a picture of whatever you want and drop it in behind your footage. This is also where you can put a list of your most recent subscribers or maybe a donation list. If you're just starting off like me, you won't have enough followers or donations coming in, but that's okay. You now have a very professional looking system that is going to bring in more people. Now, to transition between scenes, just select the scene you want to switch to in studio mode and click this button. Adjust the timing transition settings to your liking and you just click transition. When you want to switch it up, you just push it and it'll transition very nicely. Then just click your other scene, push transition, and it'll move slowly back over. That is the finale of the OBS tutorial series here on the YouTube channel. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions on anything I asked or anything else OBS related, feel free to ask it down below or on the subreddit, and I will answer it personally as soon as I can. I promise you that. Once again, my name is Tim, and I'm from the YouTube channel, The Elephant Upstairs, where my roommates and I make action, sci-fi, special effects comedy videos. And I think it's pretty cool, and I think you'll enjoy it. If you could check it out, it would mean a lot to me. But remember, just because this tutorial series is done, doesn't mean our relationship is done. We'll still be together in our hearts. Once again, have a good night, and have fun creating.